Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back again with another review. This is a bit different than my normal reviews. Um, I haven't done a, a mask in a while, and this is my first time doing an airsoft mask. Um, here is the airsoft M50 gas mask. Here's the box that it comes in. It uses stock photos of real USGIs using them. The only one that isn't real is the top. And I was looking at this, and I was like, I recognize this from somewhere, but I, I can't think where. And I thought about it a little bit longer, and this is a blowed up version, blown up version of um, Call of Duty Black Ops 1, the cover. Um, it's the guy's shoulder, and then he's got the, the M16 on his back, and the um, jungle jacket with the patches on the shoulders. So, uh, yeah, I was completely blown away when I was like, oh my god, that's from Black Ops. I highly doubt the company actually asked uh, Treyarch's permission to use it, but it's whatever. So let's open it up. So here's what the inside looks like. Should get some uh, foam with it, just to keep it from knocking around the instructions. You get a nice cloth. You get two padding uh, strips with adhesive backing. I already used one, so that's why you only see one. You got the filter cap covers, just in case if you want to wear the mask without the fake filters on there. And then you also get two lenses. You get the clear version, and then you also get the tinted version. So just set some of this stuff aside here. So there's the accessories. And here's the mask itself. Now, none of th nothing on this mask actually works aside from the head harness and the filters. The filters are fans. They're not designed. They will not protect you against any kind of agent, just to let you guys know. Um, there's no actual way to seal this thing. I mean, I'm sure you could. You'd have to cover up a lot of whole areas. Um, then uh, there's, I think it's supposed to be the size indicator, medium. There's actually just one size for these things. It's a one size fits most. Um, you can see the fake drinking straw, the fake voice diaphragm, the eye lenses. Now there's only one set of eye lenses, so it's not like the mask has its own clear set and then you clip on these just like on the real ones. It's just one or the other. Um, so if I take this off, then of course there's no lens underneath there. The head harness is surprisingly close to the original, except it has like a different style like that, but the buckles are pretty much the same. I'm curious to see if uh, a real one would fit on there. I think it would, excuse me, <clears throat> but uh, I don't think um, they, uh, I haven't seen any M50 head harnesses for sale. And then on the inside, it has this rubber um, coating that's just pinned in there, like so. It's for comfort and to help catch your sweat and holds it to your face. And then there's the uh, one of the adhesive padding uh, things that I used. And it just comes with an extra one. And then taking off the filter is just like taking off, taking them off on the real ones. You just press these two buttons on the side and turn up. I'll try and do it with one. Okay, there you go. And on the inside you can see the fan and then right there the camera will focus is the button to turn on the fan which I think I took the batteries out of this one and then there's what it looks like without wait I think it was this one that had the fan yeah you can see the batteries in there and it's going you probably can't hear it at all it's an extremely quiet fan I really like it um, and then you could just put the cap on there if you didn't if it helped you aim better without the filter but I think it looks cooler with the filter and then um, there's the clear one all wrapped up here's the instruction sheet it's instructions and it's its own poster which is kind of cool if you're into airsoft or military posters I'm not really so I don't know, I'll probably just throw this away. Shows like the different combinations you could have. <clears throat> it also comes in like um, tan, green, oh yeah, here it is, black, tan, and green. 
the real ones are made in black so I got black and of course there's the instructions which have a, a translation to English this gas mask or this airsoft mask is extremely comfortable um, I'll put it on for you guys so here it is I can wear my glasses with it so if you have glasses that are smaller than the BCG frames because that's what these are then they definitely will fit and these are relatively big if you guys have ever seen BCGs in person so yeah guys it fits great I know with real gas mask you're not supposed to wear your glasses but again this is airsoft so just got to deal with it um, I don't know its protective capabilities I'm not going to be testing it I don't really have any good airsoft guns anyways um, but I imagine it's better than nothing and it looks cool so um, the real M50s are pretty expensive. These are only about, I think I spent like $30 on this. I've seen them as high as $50. Um, so, I don't know. I guess I just look around. Um, I personally wouldn't pay $50 for this with gas mask. I'd pay about $30, which is what I did. So I was pretty happy with it. Um, the accessories are decent. The lenses are nice and thick, as you guys can kind of see there. Um, I could see it protecting you pretty good for airsoft. I mean, I, I obviously it isn't ANSI rated, but um, sometimes better than nothing. So, yeah, so there's the airsoft gas mask. Oh, um, before I get done, I don't know why, but it seems like uh, gas mask collectors have a huge vendetta against these things. Um, so, honestly, guys, they're not that bad. Like, just man up. I mean,. To be honest, most gas mask collectors side with the left, but it's whatever. Um, if you guys have any questions about this thing, just go ahead and let me know. I like it. I have a real one too. I'll probably do a comparison someday. Um, if you guys have any questions about this thing, again, as always, just let me know and have a nice day.